Hey guys, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the top 10 Sephora holiday palettes that I think are perfect gifts to purchase for the upcoming holiday savings event. I just feel like these are some of the best of the best from holiday. So I did get a lot of requests about what are like the top 10 best palettes. There are so many that have released recently and I got you. <laughs> I'm going to tell you which ones are the best. Let's start off with one that has surprised me, one that I'm really, really disappointed that for whatever reason, this palette is not available for Americans through Sephora. It is available on YSL Beauty. This is the holiday palette from YSL. This is actually a very lovely surprise. And the reason I say that is because I had not purchased a YSL palette in a long time. And I was really reluctant because I was like, what is this formula going to be like? Is it going to be kind of crappy? Is it going to be one of those like ultra luxurious price points with a subpar formula? Actually, no. So this is a very different palette for sure. When it comes to formulation, they're actually on the softer side. So think about elements like Chanel, Dior. Some of them have more of that softer kiss of pigment. Even though they're at full capacity, they are softer in nature. They're not like richly powerful color. This is just one of those ones that just glides onto the lid super beautifully. Does have pigment, but more of that softer, satiny, very interesting finish. So this is one that the only complaint I have, like the absolute only complaint, if I could nitpick, is that some of these shades are similar to each other. These two are great for adding drama, adding some smokiness, but there's not a ton of variation between them when it comes to applying them on the eye. So I would, oh my gosh, <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hold this a different way. Same with the shimmers as well. Like some of these are a little bit closer than I would like. So the only thing that I could think of to improve this palette would be to just have some more degrees of versatility here. But other than that, I'm so beyond impressed. Like I really, really like this one for beautiful, like more subdued, subtle glam. There's definitely glitter payoff with these shimmers. They're very powerful, but these kind of softer satiny matte shades, very, very surprising and in a great way. So this is definitely one that I would encourage. If you are Canadian, definitely snatch it for the Sephora holiday savings event coming up. It is at Sephora Canada. For the US, oh, I'm so sorry because it's painful. <laughs> <laughs> that for some reason it is something Canadians have, but not Americans on Sephora. So get it at YSL Beauty. It's been sold out on and off, but I will definitely update you guys if I see it in stock. So just so you guys know, no particular order with these palettes. These are just 10 of the best of the best in my opinion. This is one available at Sephora for both, for Sephora US, for Sephora Canada. And of course you guys know my praises for this one. This is the Retro Palette from Natasha Denona. This is one that came out recently, a couple months back-ish, and it's absolutely stunning. If you do have the Glam Palette, it is one of those nice complimentary palettes to Glam, but even if you don't have Glam, this is a perfect palette by itself. We have Natasha Denona's formulation, which is wildly different from the YSL. Natasha Denona has more pigment impact. It's color forward, very, very bright, very, very rich. And certainly you can get some softer looks with this, but then that would require more of a softer technique overall because these pigments pack a punch. If you do pick up a lot with your brush, you're gonna get that richness behind these. She does have some beautiful formulas in this one, cream to powder, creamy matte. She has some really nice metallics. She has beautiful shimmers in here. So this is a lovely one, more on the cool tone side of things. I really think this is a great one to pick up, especially if you like those rosy tones. Quality has been absolutely beautiful with the Retro Palette from Natasha. And we also have another really beautiful mini. Now, if you don't want to pick up a midi palette or budget doesn't allow, this is a lovely mini to pick up for the holiday. It's one where you can get like a kiss of Natasha Denona's formulation without having to worry about splurging so much. It does offer a beautiful everyday gold kind of glam for holiday, but also that really nice rich blue. This is Mini Metropolis. And there are three out of the five that are from the Big Metropolis palette. So of course, if you have the Big Metropolis, no need to get this. There's enough duplication in here that you don't need both. This is a lovely one to kind of get a kiss of that, but also with the addition of the two mattes at the end that are really a beautiful rich brown and a beige. It anchors this palette so well, so you can really make this everyday friendly 
or you can glam it up for a holiday party or something, add that blue, add that gold. <laughs> you can really go completely bold as well if you want. So her minis have been hit or miss in the past. Some of them haven't always been the best quality that she can offer, but that's definitely one that has quality maintained. So I love that one. I think it's a great mini for the holiday season. I want to do an honorable mention because this is a palette that actually isn't eyeshadow <laughs> and I was kind of debating like should I put this in this video however it is a palette nonetheless and this is one that I've only recently just stopped testing so I wanted to make sure before I did any recommendation on this palette even though people were so excited about it I was like I need to be excited about it too so many creators love it and now I am jumped on the bandwagon I love it too this is the Patrick Ta major headlines blush palette and I'm gonna show you my desk look at the crazy <laughs> reflectiveness here so you can see my Starbucks is uh, front and center right there it's holiday now starting today at Starbucks and I am still at the pumpkin cream cold brew level because I love that drink <laughs> until it goes away I will be ordering it <laughs> So here we have the blush palette. This one freaked me out at first. I was like, holy Dinah, those are vibrant. Like right when I thought of that, I was like, this may not work for me. There is a combination of powder and a combination of cream. So the cream has a little kind of flap that co covers it up here. I have the window opened here so you can see, but especially like those first two, I was like, holy Dinah, those are gonna be very vibrant. They actually aren't. It's very interesting. The only one that's truly vibrant is the middle. And the middle is one that I like to just use a very light hand with. But this is one that you can literally like just use the powder. You can do the cream first and add the powder over top. They are corresponding shades. So you can do that 100%. Like the duos are complementary. So you can layer your blush so that it lasts a little bit longer on the skin. But I actually find that these actually last quite well even on their own. So if you do a cream by itself, or you do a powder by itself, the longevity is still there. It's not like you must layer them. So this is a very well done palette and it looks like it's barely been touched because the pigmentation here, you guys, if I can give you the biggest tip, do not go heavy handed with these. They are very rich. So keep that in mind. The palette itself will last you a while because it packs that punch and I just love it. I'm very, very impressed. The fact that it was selling out, you know, up and down, back and forth on Sephora, it just kind of makes sense now. If you are wanting to get this during the sale, I suggest you get it as early as you can because of how the stock has varied. I feel like this is gonna be one of the first ones to sell out. For the Charlotte Tilbury fans, she has two holiday palettes at Sephora. Both of them are amazing. The first one is the Smoky Eyes Are Forever palette. Now this is one that offers more versatility than we have seen from Charlotte, which I do appreciate. There is quite a distinction in these looks. She has actually, at least like fans around, you know, the beauty community have talked about how she doesn't have much more than pinks and browns for most of her line. But this is something that goes absolutely against that and you can tell. So <laughs> we do have a green trio, a really beautiful light kind of sparkly pink trio, and then these are deeper. I've actually been using this trio a lot for the fall. So now that we're kind of transitioning into the winter, it's nice that you can have this gorgeous array of beautiful shades. Now these are limited edition, her 12 pan. They do tend to stick around a little bit past the holiday, sometimes even longer. So it just depends, I guess, on stock level. There's been a few years where these have disappeared pretty quick in the new year, and then I believe last year's is actually still available. So <laughs> it's kind of like no rule of thumb for that. But if you are wanting to get this, now is a great time for the Sephora holiday savings event. Swatches are really nice and rich. They're very easy to work with. And that's something that I've always commended Charlotte for is just the ease of use is one of the best in the industry. She knows how to make palettes that are very cohesive, that work together really well. And they're basically foolproof. If you are more of a simple gal, I mean, I kind of range myself personally. I will spend some time blending shadow. Sometimes I'll do just a one and done cream shadow. Sometimes I'll do the middle, which is just like a few shades together. And a quad is a nice way to just get a look put together. You don't have to worry about it. With Charlotte's kind of formula of step-by-step -step on how you can apply which shade in what order, this is a great way for the simple gals to get some glam in their lives as well. So this is 
more so on the everyday gal, kind of more subtle glam. This is the Luxury Palette of Pearls in Celestial Pearl. I believe this is the only one available at Sephora. She has another one called Cosmic Pearl. It is a deeper color story in general, and I believe it's a Charlotte Tilbury website exclusive because I haven't seen it on Sephora yet. It's basically your eyes, but shimmery and glittery and absolutely stunning. So when it comes to richness in pigment, is it bold color? No. Definitely not. It's one of those ones that showcases like your eye and there's not like a mosaic of shadows to look at on your lid. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard to explain. It's one of those ones that's like subtle, gorgeous glam, amplifying your eyes, capturing that sparkle. I don't know. It's just super beautiful. And all of these are really stunning shades. I do this bottom shade here just kind of to smoke out on the edge. And it's one of those ones that is probably medium opacity for pigment. So I do a couple of layers here just to add a little bit of that dimension. This is actually a duochrome shimmer. We don't see that from Charlotte a ton. It's not very common, so <laughs> it's really nice to see that. And of course we have those really beautiful like metallic shimmers that are kind of inspired by metals, like rose gold and yellow gold. So this is a beautiful one for the Subtle Glam Gal. I did talk about this in my recommendations as well because it's just a beautiful, easy to use quad for someone that doesn't want a ton of color on their eye for the holiday. I want to talk about the palette that I am wearing now on my eyes. This took a while to finish testing because there was a few shades in here and there's been so many other palettes that I've been like testing makeup like left and right, which of course is my job. But when it comes to eyeshadow, it's difficult to get all the shades tested out when there's so many thrown at you, right? Finally, I'm done this one and I can recommend it. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Primrose Palette. Mixed reviews on this one. I've actually heard you either love it or you hate it. And I personally think if you're a fan of the Anastasia formula, this is consistent. Here is the palette here. Absolutely stunning. We do have some elements from her other palettes though. I will say that. There's some duplications from Soft Glam in particular. I'm noticing that there's some shades that are very close, like extremely close. So if you have some of her other palettes, you may not find this is one for you. We also have some elements of modern renaissance too. So this is sort of like a palette that probably is best for someone that doesn't own either of them because modern renaissance is like a deep berry, a little bit touch of purple kind of bridal palette as is soft glam. And this sort of kind of brings both of them together. Then we also have the addition of the two blushes on the very end. So one is more of a deeper blush and one is more of a fair blush. But I actually really like this one for those of you that don't have anything from her or are kind of ready to try her formula out. Keep in mind, you will get some fallout with her formula. It is basically guaranteed. So do your eyes first. But this is a really beautiful palette. I'm actually really impressed with it. I do like how you can get some fall glam looks, some beautiful everyday looks. You can see my look today is a combination of so many of these shades. It's beautiful. So richly pigmented, yes. Easy to blend out and work with, yes. It is really stunning. I like the outer packaging too. I think it's really beautiful, like, I don't know, like plush pink with that cool stitching. I think that's really stunning. So I do think that that is a perfect palette. Like I said, if you don't have Soft Glam or Modern Renaissance, if you do have either of those, but those are shades you're hitting pan on or you're using, perhaps this is a nice addition for you as well. Rose Quartz, oh my word. Huda Beauty's Rose Quartz, you guys, impressive. <laughs> I was very impressed with this one. There was a lot of talk about her special shades in here, in particular the one that looks like a Petri dish, which I am guilty of saying that it looked like a Petri dish. From the promotional pictures, it looked like my biology labs from back in the day when I was in nursing school. This shade here is what I'm talking about. It's called Love Stone, and it actually looks more like nerds to me. <laughs> so I did talk about that in my review. It looks more like nerds up close, which makes me feel better. It doesn't look super creepy like bacteria. It actually looks kind of like those raw candies. So that aside, <laughs> I'm glad we solved that mystery, but the textures in here, are beautiful. This is a cool toned overall palette as well. There's basically a rose gold theme with an emphasis on pinks, silvers, metallics, 
really gorgeous like quartz looking shades in here as well so they just look absolutely stunning and they make each palette unique because of how they're swirled together you can go from kind of like whimsical with this one like unicorn vibes which is the look i kind of created myself when i was reviewing this you can also go kind of pretty easy and subdued and laid back with a little bit of shimmer but these shimmers carry looks by themselves. They're absolutely richly pigmented, gorgeous, metallic, almost liquid metal. They're super beautiful. So if you're a fan of Huda's formulation, like you're a fan of Mercury Retrograde or the New Nude palette, this quality is right up there and a great one for the holidays as well. The last two in my top 10 are both from Miss Pat McGrath. You guys know that I review Pat McGrath all the time and I'm a big fan of her products for the most part. There's a few misses in her line that have happened for me, but for the most part they've been really great. And this is one, it's so crazy, her Mothership 10 Pan palettes are great. They're absolutely stunning and they offer a lot of her formulations that she's known for, especially her Blitz Astrals, which are those really gorgeous, richly pigmented, gel-like shimmers. They just glide over the lid. They just look so cool and they're definitely unique on the market. My first one, you must, <laughs> like Utopian Dream from Pat McGrath. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my word. I'm gonna have to hold that again a different way because it's gonna make my lights go crazy. So this is Utopian Dream. Now this is right up there in my top three now. You guys have always known that Divine Rose 1 has been my first favorite Pat McGrath mothership and I've recommended that one first for such a long time because it's one of the most wearable ones. This one's getting up there. Like I'm like, guys, I don't know. Like I had a message sent to me recently that was like Utopian Dream or Divine Rose 1 and I'm like, oh my gosh, the stress. I don't know. <laughs> like, they're both great. You really can't go wrong, honestly. Like I don't even know how to pick now. So that just goes to show how beautiful this one is, how cohesive it is for my preferences. If you guys don't know, I love pinks and golds. They're kind of like my comfort shades. Then I can go above and beyond that. And then I'm a little bit like nervous to try, for instance, like blues and stuff. I'm like, ah, like I hope it works out. These are shades that I feel so comfortable and at home with that I'm like, yes, like I can grab looks like this easy and I can pull looks together easily and I can just visualize them a lot easier. A gorgeous, gorgeous palette. The mattes are unbelievable. The shimmers are fantastic. The Blitz Astrals are on the very end here. We have some duochromes. It's great. I highly recommend. <laughs> when you see the swatches of that one, wowza. Like the textures alone, they're fantastic. The last palette that I would recommend for this holiday savings event, this is limited edition. It will go away for sure. Utopian Dream, I believe, is a permanent palette. This one, though, is not. This is her Celestial Odyssey. It is the holiday palette for this year. First of all, the packaging of this is not my fave. Um, I think it's all right. I don't think it's trash, but <laughs> I don't think it's my favorite because the black lacquer has always been my favorite. But if she made a palette this big with the lacquer packaging, you know it would be like at least double the price. So I'm fine with it. <laughs> Here we have, oh my word, it's gonna be hard to hold this one. I'm gonna try guys, I'm gonna try my best. Celestial Odyssey, look at the color here. This is for the gals that want color this holiday, okay? Like flat out, if you love blue, if you love green, shimmers in particular, boom, this one. There are some anchoring mattes in here, however, most shades are shimmer. So I'm gonna show you guys, the swatches are unbelievable for this, but it's also very, very close in formulation to her 10 pan motherships. Now she's always done more affordable kind of variations of her shadows, whether it be like little trios or whether it be six pan or whether it be holiday. But only in the last couple of years, her holiday quality has been right up there. I still think quality is more consistent in Utopian Dream personally, but, this is right on its tail. So if you are wanting more of a variation, more color, you're wanting the limited edition palette because it will go away, this one, rest assured, is the quality of Mothership just under, like just so close. I do think her best product are the 10 pans, but her recent Christmas palettes this past year, as well as last year, have been absolutely phenomenal. So that's why I think, sorry, I'm finicking with my light. That's why I think this one is fantastic too. It's a great one to pick up during the holiday. It definitely screams Christmas to me because we do have the traditional like ready pinks and green and we also have the blue. 
right? And we have the gorgeous browns and berries. Like these are wearable shades plus little bits of fun color as well. So what do you guys think? Let me know the palette that you are after for this holiday season. I'm super curious. If there's any palette out there as well that you want me to review, drop it in the comments for me. Happy shopping at the savings event. Let me know if you have any questions before you buy. I'd be happy to help you out. And until my next one, take care and stay safe. Bye guys.